so what we have here is we have a, a structure um, that we thought of as, a, as, as in terms of modules. We've got a, a south module, which you're looking at, um, and then there's a north module. What we did uh, was to invite our students down to the former art barn, and we asked them six different questions about what, what was it about the art barn that, that uh, allowed them to imagine and make artwork. One is uh, that the building was other. It was different than any other building on campus. Um, it was an, an A-frame structure, and in fact, I think Many people believe it really was the first building on this campus. It was maybe over 100 years old. And so, yeah, the art barn was different. It didn't have a red roof. It didn't have mountain stone. It was significantly different than the rest of the campus. We wanted a building that was well designed. Uh, we wanted a building that functioned well. And I suppose we also wanted a building that, uh, that looked maybe modern or contemporary, um, that sort of adhered to, to the ideas of of the art department and some of the things that we were thinking about. So let me take you into the building and, and give you an idea of uh, some of the things that we, that, that we do. So one of the things about uh, place building, and I think that that's really kind of what we're doing here, uh, is developing this place on the lower campus of Covenant College, um, is how uh, we connect with the with the larger campus as a whole. We wanted it to be open and accessible. Uh, we wanted it to be inviting, welcoming to visitors, students, uh, and the community alike. Uh, this space here is a 32 square, 32 feet by 32 feet foot cube. And what we had intended for the commons area, as we call it, is that um, we really wanted to uh, have a space where students could put up their works and that we could exhibit student artwork um, uh, prominently on our campus. Th this was a, a, a particularly surprising space for us um, as we did our design development and doing the drawing and uh, working with architects as such. And what we didn't realize was how open perhaps this, this space would be. And what you see in this surprise space is not only um, a kind of a through fair between uh, the studios, but uh, you, you see these, what seem like these exterior windows. And these exterior windows uh, came from the former art barn, and we repurposed 11 of them. Uh, part of the idea was to, um, well, certainly to, to, to recall the former space, uh, but also to really, uh, to use uh, you know, that, that organizing structure of, a, of, of the grid. This is the, the three-dimensional module, 3D module. In the 3D module, this is the, the, the south module. Uh, it is a space that is dedicated to uh, sculpture and ceramics. Um, and here we have ceramic wheels and um, where, we, where we do table work. Between the two studios is an outdoor atrium. And so I, I would expect that this space be utilized quite a bit during the uh, spring and summer months where you know, people would want to be outside. The North Studio here is the painting studio where we do painting and drawing. Um, and as you can see, it's slightly different uh, than the 3D studio. Um, directly in front of you are these large windows from the art barn. We, as I mentioned before, we repurposed about 11 of them. When, uh, when this building was put together and when we decided that we really wanted to name it after uh, the Lucases, uh, uh, it, just, it made sense that we kept the name Art Workshop. The building also has a future um, and uh, uh, that will happen, you know, that will take place beyond me and my sort of uh, imprint on our major. And I guess that's why we chose the, the font. It, it's, it's called Futura. Um, and it has a sense that, uh, that the building does have a, a, a direction, a theology, if you will. It's, it's, it's moving in a direction um, that, uh, that will you know, serve you know, future Covenant College students in years to come.